now we're in PowerPoint, so I'm going to show you how to make an easy cinema graph. Here's a video that I got from Pexels of some camels hanging out. First thing we want to do is we actually want to watch the video. It's a very quick clip, 10 seconds. All right, and we want to pay attention to the movement. So we got some wind, we got some tails, then we got the little guy down there in the bottom left who's moving around quite a bit. I think that I'm going to go with him. First thing that you want to do is you want to determine where you want your freeze frame, if you will, your picture to start. For this particular one, I like actually the very first picture because this camel is a, a focal point here in the front and I like it like that. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to take a picture of the video. Easiest way to do that is you just copy and then you go to your second slide and we're going to paste it as an image. Boom. No, no design ideas today, please. All right. Now that we have our picture, now what we're going to do is we're going to transpose or layer the active video on top of our picture. So going back to our video, and let me just watch it one more time. I want to make sure that his head does not get in the way of this if I am to add this in. So let's watch it one more time. All right, I feel good about that. This guy's not moving. So let me go back, we're gonna start it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna crop everything out except our little guy right here. And to do that, we already have it highlighted up here. We go to Format, go to Crop, and then make sure you grab that. I make that mistake quite a bit that I start resizing something and it's just not, it's not good. All right. And then, yeah, how about we keep it like this, and then that way if there's any wind or anything blown from that, that should make a nice effect. All right, we crop. Looks good. And then same process. Control-C. And if you Control-V, it pastes right over the camel. So let's take a look. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, not perfect, and that's okay. Looks like his little head's peeking out just a bit. Let me look one more time. Yeah, I want to fix that. All right, so there we are. Let's crop again. And again, we want to make sure that we give his little head enough room. I think that should do it. All right, I think that should do it. We're gonna copy and we're gonna paste right on top. Now let's see what that looks like. So there you go. Looks like he is uh, looking good. He's not in the way and it's a still picture and it looks pretty cool. Now. I go ahead and I would delete this out and then you want to save it. First thing that I recommend though is you want to probably do this media size performance, compress it because it gets really big. Let's just say that we have, I don't know, let's do, yeah, we'll do 1080. All right, give it a second here and then it'll tell us how much room we save. Okay. Export create a video and then uh, we'll do we'll do HD and then create a video you can say about eight seconds and then presentation we're going to call it I'll call it camel cinema All right, there it is, very subtle. As you can see, it's not moving a whole lot, but that's okay. So you can pick a focal point, and I think you can do that in more than one area if you wanna try it that way. But again, super easy, PowerPoint. It's just about cropping and layering.
And I'd love to see what you do with your cinnamon graphs. So tweet them, share them, love to be tagged in them. And let's keep learning together. That's what it's all about. Thanks.